a lot of podcasts go through breakups. Like we've been through different variations, iterations mm. of the podcast. Not at all, yeah. For oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, before you oh, marry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I, I thought y'all were talking just about John. I was like, oh, Maybe, oh, oh yeah, girl, we've had some variations. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't the original yes. member, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we <laughs> definitely have some iterations on the yeah. podcast, and they do break up. For sure. But a lot of those end up like money, shit like that. Um, or whatever, just not being able to see eye to eye. I think mm-hmm. what me I think and Alex do is the eye to eye. Me and yeah. Alex are really good at like seeing a, a common ground, like coming sure. to like. There's been times where we've argued, yeah. And naturally, then naturally, we gotta dab each other up and get right back to right it. Like nobody it. would ever know in the studio that yeah. me and this nigga just. <laughs> had it out. Oh no, no. That, that, that's why. No, let's be very clear. That's, yeah. that's why even with all the beef happening right yeah. now. Niggas like clean up beefs way quicker than way women quicker, do. Right. Way quicker. <laughs> way quicker. <laughs> way quicker. Niggas would be like, yeah, I know I said all right, we cool now, nigga. We yeah, let's go yeah, home. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? But I feel like you uh, like like women don't I would have to have a real hatred with Savon and just not forgive him. Real talk. Like mm-hmm. I I never had that with yeah, him. Even yeah. like how this podcast was sort of birthed, mm-hmm. we came into this shit splitting everything when it came to money. Yeah. Right? So maybe as the podcast grew, we naturally just understood the roles where it's like, nah, bro, like we know what we both want to show up as. And we for met in podcast. college. Yeah, we did. And we met in college. So That's I fun. knew that he was in the audio engineering. I yeah. knew right. he was Facts. good in front of the camera. And vice versa. Like, I literally saw him in a class project well, yeah. eight, ten what? years what? ago. I was like, oh, this nigga's great on yeah. camera. And, and that's the thing. Yeah. When when a lot of people maybe want to start potting, like right, right. especially even with with my last pod, so to speak, I come from an accounting corporate background with you know almost eight years of experience mm-hmm. with a successful podcast. Yeah, music industry, completely different industries. We didn't know, and in reality TV, we didn't know each other's work ethic and mm-hmm. things like that. Mind you, she's a phenomenal fucking singer. She's very fucking talented. Oh yeah, Super, and for and sure. of course we had just never worked in a working capacity mm-hmm. and. Within that first year, yeah, had, we didn't. We had Joe as uh, infrastructure. We, me yeah. and me and her never had to have conversations about work ethics or things like that. I mean, there was a there was a conversation about time, yeah. which I talk about with everyone. Shout out to every single one of my guests that's come on period. Says apparently they they know can't be late for Mandy. <laughs> I, I love that. I was early. Y'all yeah. niggas, you was late. I told you eight uh, o'clock. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I you did. Time. Didn't I tell y'all? You I did told you eight o'clock. But I came early because you know biracial. I mean, I, just, uh, no. No, no, she walked in and she's like, of course I'm early, I'm half white. <laughs> How about like, going to see a studio? I, well, no, and it's that too. I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like showing up early, but right. to me, it's respectful. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so I'm loving this. And so, so to much me, I align, I align timing with respect. Right. And mm-hmm. so to me, whether you know how to fucking edit or upload audio, whether you tell the truth all the time, like in relationships, this isn't just about podcasting. For anyone yeah. listening, I don't want them to feel excluded. <laughs> but to me, timeliness in any capacity is a sign that you respect respect. somebody. Right. And so to me, showing up late, not coming on time or, Mm -hmm. or having to cut things short. Like to me that like, it's very selfish. And and yeah. yeah, And me, me knowing we have a time for anything, guests, Mm -hmm. potting Mm -hmm. relationships. If we, if if I have a date Mm -hmm. and nigga, you better not thank you for the show up late. Hello. Like, I'm that's your last day. I baby. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah, like yeah, I'm that yeah, disappearing yeah, yeah. peace sign meme. <laughs> so I guess Fade what out. I want to ask you is when did the respect leave from that relationship between the two of y'all? Right? Because me and Savon, I'm gonna be honest with you, we just saw last pasta and wine when we was there at least. <laughs> well, know? no, 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 no. I, I think that and I think that's the thing. I just don't think we ever got to a point where we could identify our strengths, weaknesses, and roles, Mm -hmm. to be very clear. And I think, I think that tour, the, the five, the the five live shows that we did, that, that kind of, yeah, it revealed a lot. I mean, it, probably on it, both fronts. Yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, sure I, she I, feels I, the same, same way. I'm sure oh, she probably learned oh, so many I, things listen, about you. Where it's like, let, let, yeah. wait, what did I sign up mm-hmm. for? And, and, this motherfucker, this nigga crazy. I, and, and, and possibly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah, could. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna tell her how to feel about me sure. ever. And I don't know. I'm not I'm gonna just, say. You know, yeah, I'm not sure. gonna say anything she said was wrong. I dropped the receipts. Y'all, ooh, sorry, y'all can fact check that. You know, like. I only know what's black and white. Yeah. When we involve the feelings and the emotions, that's the thing too. It's very hard to separate business and personal. Mm -hmm. And I think that's our dynamic. I think there was, she wanted to lean on a friendship. And I'm like, well, how can you be my friend if you're showing up this way in business, knowing it's impacting me mentally and physically and and those things? There was no way I I couldn't start taking things personal. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't sit right next to me and be like, oh, baby, you're you're burning out. And I, I fear that you're reaching a burnout and you're not helping me 
in the back end with all the work I'm doing to relieve me from a burnout. There was never, Can I there, there? there was never like a, you know what, Mandy? Yeah. There's a lot going on. The next two weeks, I'll take the meetings. I'll make the outlines. I'll I'll take on the stress of it. Like, like and to me, if you know I'm reaching a burnout, that's what a friend would do. And I felt like to me, when people are friends in business, mm -hmm. you lean onto the friendship right. to accept. To, to expect grace. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe and, and again, I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't like grace. I don't. Niggas don't get. You gotta it. like grace. I don't like grace. I love grace. Gracie, good people. <laughs> Me and Ho was just kicking it. Humans, grace yeah. could suck my dick from no. the back. Oh my god. You goodness. don't get grace after I didn't said so much of what god I need. Damn. Like but, I don't like people but, thinking they need all this grace. I, I, I don't. I don't want to kind of dive too much no, into the weeds there. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to. But maybe there is a world where maybe she just didn't know how. To Wait. show up, like sometimes you don't know how to show up for certain people. Like I'm very vocal. I tell them every week, I need a break. <laughs> right? At some point, um, I'm going I mean, to take I, a vacation I, I, I on was, a Tuesday I, and not show I, up. I, I was vocalizing right? that. And that's so, the thing. On, on the video she made, it was that I didn't support the other pod that she produced. So I'm begging you to show up. And now you're parading around that you're producing a whole nother show. Mm, like it, gotcha. it felt like a slap in the face. It felt mm. like she was trying to prove to me that she could do it without doing it. And mind you, I wish the best for her. She has y'all. Everything is fine. Whenever it reaches DSPs or wherever they're gonna place it, because right. it won't be on Patreon. I want y'all to go support it and watch it. Yes. I want y'all to listen to her because I think she's phenomenal yes. on a microphone. I wouldn't have. Yeah, she's great. I wouldn't have wanted her next to me if I didn't. I think yeah, that she's a amazing. talented. I think she's talented. <laughs> you know that. I think that she can be great on a microphone, singing, talking, whatever. So, but and I want y'all to support her. I'm not yeah. saying I don't want y'all to support her. Right. I want our business done the right way. But y'all support her from this point moving on if y'all haven't already. Right. I don't wish ill on her. I want her nothing but the happiness. Her and her co-host, they can go and fucking I hope they tour. Yeah. I hope they fucking women <laughs> win a webby, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah. But to me, where I'm at and my personal thing is I I didn't I wasn't malicious in anything I did to you. So that video on a personal level, outside well, of all the business that well. I brought back to it. It's like, damn, bitch, for real? Right. Like, I really didn't do nothing. And there's so many things personally in which I've showed up for her over the last three years. And the same for me. So when business did get soured, it, it hurt me to see that video. When Savon needs a break, right? When Reggie needs a break, when I need a break, we got facilities here as to where people can take a break. Mm -hmm. I know you always keep a team with you. And like you said, mm -hmm. you did do a lot of the tasks. I'm going to be honest with you, Mandy. I was a little bit confused. I was like... Why don't Mandy just delegate some of these things to the in-house producer? We did. We had seven different people. That's what, explain had, that because people team, don't understand that. We yeah. had a team. I, yeah, people don't understand that. But again, that, we, we we spent the beginning right. of the pod talking about it. Right. Delegating, managing, telling yes. people what's it's, needed. It's still a job. Like, there's still a job. Yeah, yeah. Still a job. Yeah, yeah. There's still a job. And, and letting, you're saying like she couldn't delegate the same way. I mean, but it, I th and again, I'm not I just saying think she roles, can't. I'm not, I don't, don't want to speak for Bridget. Like, no, 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 no. I fuck with BK. No, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and I don't, I don't want this I'm to seem like... I'm not saying she can't do anything. Right. I am not on this pod to even talk That's what shit I'm about no. her. And That's I want to make that very clear. I'm trying to pivot. Because motherfucking... And you not talk to niggas that we don't talk to? Like, let's just pivot. All I'm saying... All I'm saying... Fuck anybody that want to say anything about me online, honestly. But... All I'm saying is this is not a a a I'm dog not, pile it's not dog like, pile and that is not why we had you on the pod. Right. Again, there's a lot of things that I did want to talk about. I did want to hear about yeah. what you learned with Joe. You have a lot of relationships with the people over on the JBP. Um, where's your relationship now with Joe? And then I also want to pivot to because you're one of the few people in this space, you're probably the only person in this space who has been in business from a talent perspective with Joe Budden and Charlemagne the Guy. Yeah. I think that's me, me admirable. And, me and Ebony K. Williams, probably I, the only two. I, I think oh, wow. that's mm -hmm. that. I, personally, for me in this space, I think that's a flex. I think that and says Will something Packer. about your talent. <laughs> Hello. I think that also. Not a talent, but. Work. <laughs> I get what you're saying. But I, I think that's, um, you know, uh, it's an indictment to who you are, right? Like, and, and not indictment. I mean, indictment so, is the wrong so here's word. the thing. But I, I, I know people, I, there may be only two people in the world that I hate, right? Okay. Y'all wouldn't know who they are. We ain't talk about them on this podcast. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I just no, want to clear that up. No, 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 Because again, no. I don't want this to look also, like the platform but where, no, no, but also where Mandy kicks Bridget's back in. No, no, like, no. But y'all wouldn't know who they are. I don't, yeah, I don't hate Bridget. Let's be very clear. Let's, let's be very clear. Let's, let's, very clear. Just, let's make it clear. Um, I don't hate Joe. Um, my relationship with him right now, and I and I said it publicly. I wish we had handled our business better. Like he should have known we were breaking up. 
with the rest of the world. Gotcha. He should have been made privy to that beforehand. Uh, because y'all be- were doing business together in some capacity. Well, yeah, that nigga got fucking perpetuity, which was another reason why I wanted to end the show. I don't need fucking Joe up in my motherfucking pockets. He be talking about pocket watch all the time. <laughs> nigga knew what the fuck was coming in, what was going out. <laughs> nigga got PLs every quarter. I love this. You feel it's me? Like a show, yeah. Every like, quarter, this nigga. Nigga, yeah. nigga got. We had to pay an accountant to get them PLs sent over to his motherfucking team. Yeah. And so to be clear, had had me and Bridget continue not only with the pod if. We did TV. If we did that, nigga put us in a little 360 to separate and get our little assets that we wanted, like the RSS, the the name, and and all those things. And so, to me, it was like it, it wasn't only a split from see the thing is and Bridget as a partner, but it was like yeah, let me cut these ties with Joe. Now I don't hate Joe. I could see him today. Whether we talk or not, we've been in the same rooms. Nigga be beelining away. Oh, no, he my don't. Goodness. No, he don't. Nigga, he, he just probably had something to do over there on that side. Nigga, Cinco de Mayo at 4040. <laughs> nigga saw me. What? Let's be very clear. Who hosted the Rock Nation huh? that he talks about on the pod with Maida, Dixon, uh, Ombre? What? That nigga was there and I was the host. But, but you nigga know saw me. You know, it's dark, do the, you know it's dark in the 4040. Nah, it wasn't dark. Nigga, I was walking around with the mic. Spotlight on me. Oh, Don't shit, do that. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so to be clear, <laughs> man, whether, it, whether Joe like wants to actually have a face-to-face, yeah. I did. I did tell him, listen, nigga, you keep fucking talking about my name on the podcast. Nigga, I'll take I'll take a steak since you want to talk about Tatiana's and <laughs> and and catch all the goddamn time. I'll take a free meal if you want to know some tea. Would y'all nigga have a tea for? Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I ain't gonna no, lie. Joe jo made the U.S. prices. His shit, his shit probably gonna last longer than mine. <laughs> oh my god, I love the I love the honesty. Because <laughs> yeah, she said <laughs> steak. I'm thinking about the motherfuckers oh, biting into a steak. God oh, damn. Yeah, talk about our teeth, nigga. We both got our teeth done. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Um, so to me, I don't hate him. I gotcha. think we operate business differently. I think we have a different code of ethics and morals yeah, sure. that we stand by and align with. I think that yeah. the way we look at friendships and business are different. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's funny because y'all kind of split don't up do that, in no. a similar way. Yeah, I mean, with podcast <laughs> host. And, so he's like, I hate to say, I'll, he's like, I'll first say off, it. I ain't fired nobody on air. Don't do that. <laughs> 